Light, a term with broad definitions and even broader uses. The written world depicts light through sentences, phrases, and definitions. The physical world depicts light through pictures, complexions, and spirituality. Whether the term qualifies, describes, or identifies items in the English language, it will always hold a specific purpose to society. Light sustains life. Natural light holds different elements of the natural world together. As the sun rises, the day begins. The morning air carries the sounds of the day, birds chirping, roosters crowing, and leaves rustling and tumbling in the wind. The natural world begins to stir. Plants awaken and are revitalized by the morning dew. Our four-legged friends begin to awaken with a stretch and a yawn. During the day, the natural light glistens and shines. Natural light is a wonderful experience. It encourages growth and sustainability. It is a meter of time and season. It gives the living world rhythm. Day and night, day and night, and day and night. Such an infinite, monotonous cycle. The sun's radiating heat and bright rays result in groaning complaints. Too much sun exposure is bad for you, experts in studies claim. They challenge the beauty of natural light. The sun has damaging effects, but what about artificial light? That surely can't be too bad for the world, right? Humans have made it their choice to light up darkness. The dark can play tricks on you. The dark carries feelings of fear and loneliness. These are imminent feelings when our human eyes can't see what is ahead of us. How can we eliminate these feelings? A simple solution to a lifelong problem. Light up the world. Population is increasing, which in turn increases the use of artificial light. Exposed street lamps radiate light throughout the night. Even skyscrapers stay lit 24-7.
Leave the lights on for the whole night. Let's make our mark as the dominant species. Why shouldn't we do what everyone thinks is necessary? Leaving the lights on can have a negative impact on humans and animals. Artificial light can lead to insomnia, sleep apnea, attention disorders, and even cancer for humans. For animals, artificial light can cause unregulated sleep schedules, migration conflicts, confusion and disorientation, and untimely death. Birds sit in trees chirping throughout the night since the street lamp next to their home stays on. Sea turtle hatchlings don't make it to the water since the lights behind them make them confused and disoriented. Where is the water? Where is my home? A lack of their circadian rhythm, day and night, missing. Astronomers can't see the night sky anymore. Their ability to study our world, our universe, our existence, and our beginning is limited to specified dark zones around the world. They look for less industrialized places, whereas our society craves more and more industrialization. The bigger the buildings, the stronger the country. The misuse of light is ironically unseen. We turn a blind eye to our use of artificial light, never questioning the consequences, not even realizing it's a problem. How can we fix a problem that goes so blatantly unseen? Awareness, attention, action, and adaptation. The problem is real, and it is up to us to make the problem known. If society will have its way, it is much easier to turn a blind eye and not have to worry about something so silly like light pollution. If it doesn't matter to you, why should it matter to anyone else?